Welcome back, guys, to the West Country Sports Show. Tonight, it's Bristol versus Claremont in the last 16 of the Challenge Cup. Um, this will be an important game for both sides, who are looking to book their place in the quarterfinals. Um, a win for the Bears would see them into the quarterfinal stages. Uh, they'll be looking to, to build on their impressive form, having won four of their last five matches in all competitions. Competitions. and we'll be looking to give Ashton Gate a brilliant game and get behind the lads tonight. Um, yeah, the Bears have a strong squad with uh, Kyle Sinclair and Genge. Um, on the other hand, Claremont is a strong team with a rich history in European rugby. They are they, they have won the Champions Cup twice in the past and will be looking to add the Challenge Cup to their trophy cabinet this season. Um, they are known for their physical and uncompromising style of play and will be looking to dominate uh, Bristol in the forward and the, in the um, scrum with a dominant pack. It promises to be an exciting and closely contested match between two top-class rugby sides here in the West Country. And... It's another thing as well here on the rugby show that we look at the other three teams as well. But of course, um, two of them are playing this weekend. Uh, Gloucester are at La Rochelle and um, Exeter Chiefs are playing as well. I need to find out who they're playing. I can't remember who they're playing um, as well. And look, don't. And also, guys, you can catch. Um, I think it's on BT Sport, I believe, tonight. So you can catch that and watch that. I'll be I'll be um, keeping a close eye on it as well, so I can do a video tomorrow if the Bristol Bears win. Um, and yeah, I mean, moving on from that game tonight. I mean, the Bristol Bears have a long and proud history in rugby, and. They're currently one of, one, one of the most up-and-coming teams of the West Country rugby scene. Uh, they did win the Premiership title in 2021, um, but last season the Leicester Tigers won it, who again are a strong force in, in rugby as well. But the Bears are known for their exciting and dynamic style of rugby, with a strong focus on attack in play. Um, they have international stars like Semi Radra Radradra, um, and they have, as well as upcoming times like Harry Randall and Max Mullins. But the team, they're not just a team of talented individuals. They also have a strong spirit and work ethic, which has helped them to a strong sense of community. Um, have a strong sense of community and are involved in a number of local initiatives and charities. Off the pitch, the Bears are also known for their, in, in, uh, for their forward thinking approach to rugby. And have invested in cutting edge technology and training methods. So, what's next for the Bears? Well, hopefully, they can win another Premiership title um, soon, um, and continue and continue their 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 uprise, uh, which is less than what I can say about two of the other teams that we're going to be talking about soon. Uh, um, I mean. I'm just going to quickly mention it. Bath and Gloucester. They Gloucester were doing well at the start of the season. They've just gone off the boil a bit. Um, but what gets me right? What gets me about rugby? And this is not me. This is not me moaning. I love rugby. But it's the fact that you can finish top of the table and not win, and not win the trophy, because then you want to go into a playoff. So the argument is, what if? What if football was like that? How how would football fans feel? Would if say Manchester City right finish top of the league, but then the team in fourth place wins the cup because they beat Man City in the playoff final? Is a bit weird, isn't it? Isn't it? Is a bit weird how it works. So yeah, but hey, that's the way things are, right? Let's move on then to my second team that I want to talk about. I want to talk about Bath Rugby. 
Yes, we're going to talk about Bath, which is one of the most storied clubs in England, not just the West Country, in England. They have a long and proud history, and it's based on the beautiful city of Bath in the West Country. The club has won numerous titles over the years, including six domestic league championships and one European Champions Cup. One of the hallmarks of Bath is their passionate and vocal fan base, who fill the stands of the wreck every single home game, which creates an incredible ha- atmosphere and makes the wreck one of the toughest places to play for any visiting team. Except for Gloucester. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. But Gloucester do win there quite quite a lot. And we'll talk about Gloucester um, in a minute. Uh, Bath is also known for producing some of the best players for the England squad. And with a long list of international stars having played for the club, um, including Jeremy Guskett, Mike Cat, Jonathan Joseph, Anthony Watson. They've all played... Uh, for Bath at some point in their careers. Um, but they've got a lot of youth players coming through, including Tom Dunn, Tom Ellis and Zach Mercer, just to name a few. Um, but they have undergone a period of transition and this is why they are struggling. You know, they're trying to rebuild. They're trying to become the force that they used to be. They were a decent side back when I was younger. Um, you know, I'm going to Bath... And, you know, um, and, and, and watching it, it was always a tough game, whoever they were playing. Um, yeah, but they are in transition. Um, the team has shown a renewed focus on developing youth talent and building a team that is competitive and sustainable over the long term. So to sum up, Bath Rugby is a team with a bright future ahead of them. And I'm excited to see what they can achieve in the coming seasons. Um, if you're a rugby fan, go and check out Bath. They are a good side to watch. Um, and you won't be disappointed when you go to the wreck. It does create a hell of a noise inside that place. So there's an insight into Bath. Now we're going to move on up the country and we're going to go and look at Gloucester Rugby next. Next, we're going to talk about one of the clubs that is dear to my heart, and that is Gloucester Rugby. Uh, Gloucester is one of the oldest rugby clubs in England. Um, the club is based in the city of Gloucester, of course, though, um, <laughs> and has a strong and passionate fan base, um, especially those who go into the shed, um, which is an incredible stand to be in. It really is. If you haven't checked out Kings, go and check it out. It is an experience. Um club has a long and successful history, having, having won three uh, domestic titles and two European Challenge Cups. Uh, and they've also produced a number of top-class players over the years, include Mike Tindor, James Simpson, Daniel, Johnny May. We've got some great young players coming through, like uh, Reese Samet, who's incredible, incredibly talented, is, is, is Reese Samet. Um... And one thing that sets Gloucester rugby aside is their unique style of play. They are known for their attacking and high-scoring rugby, which has thrilled fans for decades. I've been to a few games. I think I went to one once where we played Newport Gwent Dragons, and we beat them 54-3. <laughs> and it was incredible. It was just an incredible thing. Um, their most famous victory was when they beat Toulouse in the 2003 um, European Challenge Cup final. Um, in recent years, Gloucester Rugby has undergone a period of transition with new coaches and players coming in to help take the club forward. This has led to some ups and downs, but the team is still a force to be reckoned with and they can pull off the occasional upset victory against the top teams. If you are a rugby fan, I would definitely definitely recommend you coming down to Gloucester and watching a Premiership rugby game, especially if we're playing the likes of Bath or Bristol, them games are absolutely incredible when uh, when we play them. Uh, so, moving on then. So the last team I want to talk about um, in this sort of introduction to West Country rugby is, of course, the Exeter 
Chiefs. Sandy Park, Exeter Chiefs, one of the most successful rugby clubs in the West Country. Um, I'm going to give you a glimpse into the world of the Chiefs, actually, from their history to their current success. Uh, so let's start with a bit of history. Um, Exeter Chiefs have a long and proud history in English rugby, as they have competed in the top tier of English rugby since 2010 and have won the Premiership title four times, most recently in 2020. They are known for their physical and powerful style of play, as well as their strong team spirit and work ethic. Uh, the current side, the Chiefs have talented squad uh, have a talented squad of players, including experienced internationals like Stuart Hogg, Henry Slade, and Jack Noel, as well as upcoming brothers brothers Joe and Sam Simmons. They are known for their strong defence and powerful attack in play, and have been dominant in the Premiership in recent seasons. Uh, they are playing actually on Sunday. They've got Montpellier from France. Um, so that might be an interesting game. And I forgot to mention while I was about Gloucester, Gloucester playing La Rochelle on Sunday as well. Uh, the Chiefs are also known for their commitment to developing young talent, with their academy producing a number of talented players, like I said, uh, Sam and Joe Simmons. They also have a strong sense of community and are involved in a number of local charities. So what's next for the Chiefs? Well, they're going to be looking to win another Premiership title, that is for sure. They will also be competing in the in Europe, where they'll be looking to make an impact against some of the top teams in Europe, especially France. French rugby is on the rise at the moment. Well, I would, I'm actually going to do a video about French rugby uh, within the next couple of weeks. Um, but overall, Extra Chiefs are a fantastic rugby club with a proud history and a bright future. Guys, if you're a sports fan and you watched my video earlier on the, on West Country football and you like that, give this a like, give this a subscribe. Let's build a community of sports enthusiasts on a Friday when I'm here doing these West Country sports shows. Um, I can't wait to do more. Um, so yeah, for the weekend then, let's get Bristol over the line tonight. Let's hope they beat Claremont. Um, let's hope Plymouth do something special and win a trophy on Sunday. And then, yeah, I'll speak to you guys on Monday. There might be some little YouTube shorts coming out over the weekend if things happen. Um, but, uh, take care for now and we'll see you very soon.